What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another top 10 and today we are taking a look at top 10 easiest Kanos to tame up in Ark Survival Evolved and I don't know what is going on with my mouth but I definitely think this ghillie mask is way too small for my gigantic face. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so pretty much what we're doing is we're going through the easiest carnivores to tame. Now this was a pretty hard list to come up with because there are just so many carnivores and they've all got the same sort of methods to taming them. You just knock them out and then feed them whatever meat you can come across or kibble or whatnot. So this was a little bit difficulty. So bear with me in this because you might not agree with a couple of the first ones. So just take into mind that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say for the beginning of the video, aside from thank you very much guys for the continued support on the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the top fives. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so coming in at number 10, we have the Raptor. Now the reason the Raptor is, well, number 10 on this list is because he's one of the most found carnivores. Like anywhere you go on any of the maps, you can find plenty of Raptors everywhere. And in hindsight, they are relatively easy to tame. All you need to do is simply bowl them and then either crossbow them or trank them with your long neck rifle. But other than that, whoop, it helps if we don't have plays only activated, but you can just simply bowl them and they'll actually stay in position there and you can easily just knock them out with your crossbow or trank rifle like I said. Now the only downside to these guys is that they have the ability to pounce on you which obviously is a big hindrance especially when they are in packs, but you can occasionally find a solo one or you could just bowl all three of them in the pack and just knock them out simply like that. These guys are pretty easy to tame up. They have very low torpor, so you can simply one headshot them with a crossbow and a trank dart, or oh, sorry, cr trank arrow, and you can normally knock them out with the one trank arrow. Here, let me show you. So we're gonna bowler this guy before he pounces on us. There we go. So he's bowled. Now once you can, you've bowled them, you can easily just escape out of their distance, and you can simply fire a single dart or arrow into the head, and you can see that that's enough to knock them out. Now, in terms of taming them, food drains very quickly, so you can easily chuck a crap ton of food onto them to tame them up, and they're pretty easy to tame up, like you can easily get prime meat from your areas, like there's some stegos over there we could go kill if we really wanted to, but we don't really want to do that. And just like that, the raptor is out. That is why this guy is number 10 on this list. Now, the creature coming in at number 9 is very similar to the raptor as well, the Pomeoscorpius. This guy, in my opinion, is a lot easier to tame than the raptor because generally you can actually outrun these guys without a boosted movement speed. Plus, you can also bowler them and all they require is spoiled meat. And you should have spoiled meat in the droves when you first start off in Ark. So these guys are relatively easy to tame. They're pretty much exactly the same as the raptors. All you need to do is simply bowler them or you don't even need to bowl them to be honest. You can simply just run away from you, them while they try to attack you. You can see here, we are able to outrun the Scorpion even though our base movement speed is only 100, I'm pretty sure. Let's just double check that. Okay, never mind. our movement speed is a lot higher than 100. But even so, you can still outrun these guys by simply walking backwards, maneuvering them around corners and boulders. Or if you simply just don't want to do that, you can simply bowl them. Look, you can see here we've got two on them, on us. Bowled, bowled. These guys do not have much torpor either, very similar to the raptor, you can simply trank them in the head. Did that even hit him? You can simply trank them. These guys don't have a headshot modifier as far as I'm aware, so it doesn't really matter where you shoot them, but you can knock them out with relative ease. And these guys normally spawn in large numbers as well. Generally they are found in the caves, however you can most of the time find them wandering around out in the open, and you can see just like that we've got one knocked out. And this guy will easily, yeah, you can see that he's running away, he's ready to get knocked out. And just like that, this guy should be knocked out. Come on, big guy, fall asleep for me, you're making me look embarrassed. There we go. <laughs> and you can see there, this guy is now knocked out as well. Now, for teaming these guys up, all you need to do is feed them spoiled meat, and spoiled meat, you have plenty of. So, you know, a spoiled meat acts like their kibble for them, and these guys are really useful because obviously you need to get Pomeo Scorpius eggs for Rex kibble. So yeah guys, Scorpions are number 9 on this list. Coming in at number 8, we have none other than the Dillo. If you thought taming up a Raptor was easy, well then you have not met the Dillo. These guys are a cinch to tame up and you can easily outrun them with base movement speed like the Scorpions and they're just heckin' adorable. Now the only thing you do need to watch out for with a Dillo is their Poison Spit because that can blind you and can slow you down. But they normally tend to shoot it at the direction that they think you're going to go, which is easily avoidable. Now you can see here we're going to go that way, and you can see there we were on our way, but we simply moved out of the way. Now, it is an option to bowler these guys. I really wouldn't recommend wasting a bowler on this guy if you don't want to. You can easily just 
trank them in the head, just like that, boom. Boom bada boom, done. Now, they normally have the same effect with a crossbow arrow to the head, where they simply get knocked out really quickly, and because they are so small, they have a fast metabolism, which means their food drains at a really fast rate, which means you can chuck a bunch of food on these guys, and they'll be tamed up in no time. So guys, number eight is the Dillo. Now, one thing we forgot to mention about these guys is that we are including some uh, aquatic species, I guess you could say, because they are technically carnivores, so they will also be included in this list. We forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. But nonetheless, let's jump in to number seven. And number seven, we have right here in front of us, the Pteranodon. Hands down, the Pteranodon is one of the easiest, like hands down, like you cannot compare this to anything else. The Pteranodon is one of the easiest creatures to tank. The reason he's so high on this list is because you still need resources to knock this guy out. So you still need bowlers, you still need tranks, and you still need other stuff like that. The future dinos on this list, you won't need all that sort of stuff as much as you would. So that's why the Tyrannodon is further up, but these guys spawn in the droves. They are found everywhere in Ark, and they are real cinch and easy to tame. Very similar to the Raptor, the Dillo, the Scorpion. All you need to do is bowler these guys and then trank them, and they don't actually fight you. So you need to make sure that you just bowler them, and that's it. They're, they're pretty much done for, because once they've been bowlered, they won't be able to fly off, and they won't attack you because they're passive flee. So you can see here, all you need to do is simply bowler it. There you go, you can see there, he's bowlered, and a simple trank arrow or trank dart to the head is a majority of the time enough to knock out a Pteranodon. Now, do take into mind, we are using shocking trank darts as well, so that is having a very serious effect on this. But if we were to use a crossbow, normally it takes two trank arrows from a primitive crossbow to knock out a level 130 Pteranodon. So you don't need to worry too much about having too many tranks when it comes to knocking out Pteranodons. And these guys are normally one of the first dinos you want to tame when you start on arc. Their kibble is also extremely easy. Dodo kibble. Like, you can't get much easier than that. Now, coming in at number 6, we have none other than the Hyenodon. This guy is an adorable little critter, and he's... He's okay to tame, he's not the best, he's a bit buggy sometimes, and you do need to separate him sometimes from the rest of his pack. But once you get these guys separated, all you simply need to do is sneak up to them. Wearing a set of ghillie generally helps most of the time. All you need to do is simply walk up to them and pet them, and you'll actually tame up your hyena on. Now you can see here we're unable to tame this guy up because he's currently chasing after a dodo. But all you need to do, you don't even need tranks or anything like this. The only thing you do need to worry about is finding this guy first to tame up with, and then separating him from his pack. Now I can't obviously see if we are actually successfully taming this guy up or not. Now you can also build a pen for these guys, but this guy seems extremely aggro at the moment. All you need to do, like I said, is simply walk up to them and pet them. You can build traps and stuff to put them in, which makes it significantly easy to tame these guys up. But normally, most of the time, these guys are passive, unless of course there's a bunch of delicious dodos running around in the area. So make sure you guys, make sure you wear your full ghillie and you sneak up on them. But that is why the Hyenidon is number 6 on this list. Now coming in at number 5, we have the Most Chops. Now this guy is one adorable little dude. Now these guys are number 5 on the list because they're technically not the easiest, but they're also not too difficult. You simply need to feed them enough raw prime fish meat and enough raw prime meat to tame them up. Now, this guy is amazing for gathering resources, organic polymer, rare flowers, rare mushrooms, all that sort of stuff. He's great. And now, since they've recently updated him, you can also ride him. So simply, all you need to do to tame this guy up, you don't need to knock him out or anything. You need to ensure that you have enough of whatever you, he's after. Majority of the time, it's either Mejo Berries, Raw Prime Fish Meat, or Raw Prime Meat, which you can feed this guy and tame up. And you can see there, just like that, this guy is tamed up. We can jump on him and ride him around and gather a crap ton of stuff with him. This guy is amazing, and that is why he is number 5 on the easiest carnivores to tame. Now, coming in at number 4, we have the Vulture. The Vulture is probably one of my favourite carnivores to tame up, because 1. He's really easy to tame up, and 2. They're ridiculously powerful for what they for like their size and stature. These guys are really good to tame up, because they pretty much attack anything that comes into range of you while being on your shoulder, which is really useful in terms of just having an extra DPS for you. Now, to tame these guys up, all you need to do, they are a passive team, so all you need to do is walk up to them. Make sure you have spoiled meat filled on your last slot of your inventory, which, like I said, you should have plenty of. And all you need to do is walk up to them and feed them. And you can see, just like that, the vulture is tamed up. Spoiled meat acts like their kibble, very similar to the scorpion, in that they 
team up really quickly with it. I, all you need to do, like I said, is walk up to him, press triangle, and you'll have an army of vultures in no time. Now, I think we do have our taming rates turned up quite a bit on the single player world at the moment. So it normally takes three or four feeds on a three times world for a 150 vulture. And I would definitely recommend getting these guys tamed up. Now, the one thing you do have to watch out for when going about taming vultures is making sure that there are no corpse in the area because they will aggro on you if you try and get close to their corpse. And that could be very bad for you because, well, they'll try and attack you. And trust me, they will kill you unless you've got a decent set of armor. And just like that, you can have your very own vultures. Alrighty guys, and coming in at number 3, we have the Kairukus. Now, this one was a bit of a tough one. I was a bit conflicted whether or not to put the Kairukus above or below the Vultures. We decided to go with below the Vultures just because they don't get hostile on you. They just live in a very hostile environment. You can see over there, there's a bunch of aloes, there's a saber tooth. So we were a bit unsure about this one. Hopefully you guys can forgive us and don't crucify for us for this. But simply, all you need to do to tame up your own Kairukus is they're a simple knockout tank. You simply fire a trank dart into their head. There we go, you can see there, and they get knocked out. Now, in order to tame these guys up, all you require is some meat. You just have to watch out for the saber tooths and everything else hostile in the area. That could potentially kill you. Are we, we're good, everyone's safe, yeah. So like I was saying, you can simply walk up to these guys, trank them in the head, or you can even just go about um, walking up to them with a club. That's the one I'm looking for. You can simply club them in the head until they die. Once you've knocked them out, and you manage to, well, get them out of the area, I guess, all you need to do is feed them some regular meat, or prime meat, or mutton. They're just a regular carnivore tank. Now, the good thing about the Kairuku is the reason we put them a little bit higher than the vultures is because that they don't get hostile on you, and that you can also pick them up. So whether or not you're using a Pteranodon, or an Argy, or a Quetz, you can actually pick these guys up and take them to your base, where you can easily tame them and your own leisure and your own time. Can you seriously get out of here, you stupid saber tooth? There we go. And you can see there, this guy's still not deciding to knock out. Now, they do have a bit of a funky hitbox sometimes, but you can see there, this guy has knocked out successfully. All you need to do is put some food in there, and he will tame right up. That is why the Kairukus are number three on this list. Now, coming in at number two, we have everyone's favorite furry critter, the Otter. This guy is like one of the easiest carnivores, hence why him being number two on this list. Now, the reason being because you can normally find this guy in rivers or lakes. You can see here we're in a lake on Ragnarok, uh, just over here. Now, all you need to do to tame this guy up is simply kill yourself a fish. Now, it can be either a saber tooth salmon, a coal, or a piranha. Either way, as long as you kill it, we're just gonna, we're gonna stab this guy. We're gonna activate this because these guys are gonna aggro on us. There we go. And once you kill your fish, you want to make sure that you don't accidentally harvest it. You want to drag it. There you go. Now you want to find your otter. That's the hardest part about taming these guys up. When you find, when you lose them, you gotta find them again. Okay. And you can see we're under attack from the rest of the saber tooth salmon. We're gonna activate our HUD for this because we can't see anything. There we go. All right. So we got some piranhas on us now. We got some saber tooth salmon on us because well we killed their friend and they don't really appreciate that. Okay, now, as I was saying, you want to make sure that you can drag the body of a fish to your otter. Now, once you come into range of your otter, all you need to do is simply press triangle oops, to feed him the fish. Just make sure you don't uh, drop the fish like I just did. And also, don't make sure you don't lose your otter. Where did he just go? He was just here. I swear these scuba glasses are doing more harm than good. We're going to take these off. There we go. Now we might be able to see properly. Okay, so you need to swim up to your otter and just press triangle and boom. Just like that, you have yourselves your very own otter. Do we still have our vulture on our shoulder? Poor guy's draining, draining down here. So that's all that really takes for them to tame up. And you probably will have to do it a couple of times. Like I said, we do have our taming rates turned up slightly. And then these guys do provide you with hypothermic and hypothermal um, insulation as well, which is really helpful for navigating the cold terrains, being underwater and all that sort of stuff. So that is why the otters are number two on this list, and just because they're heckin' adorable. Alrighty guys, and finally, number one. I don't think any of you would have expected this, but we have the Ichithiosaurus. Now, I always butcher that name and I apologize. Something about the Ichis just drive me nuts. I think it's because of the seagull. So these guys are hands down one of the easiest creatures to tame because you need raw fish meat, raw prime meat, or just regular raw meat to tame these guys. These guys are passive tames and they always spawn in flocks. You can see here, we've got a flock of four of them. We're going to activate this and when you jump in the ocean, they normally flock towards you as well. You can see here they all are coming swimming over to us and all you need to do is swim up to them and feed them some meat. And there you go, just like that you've got yourselves a dolphin. These guys are the easiest, easiest, 
easiest team to get in terms of carnivores in all of Ark, in my opinion. You don't need anything else except for some raw meat, and that is it. You just simply swim up to them in the ocean, feed them, and you'll have yourselves an army of dolphins in no time. So guys, that'll pretty much conclude today's video. Let me know what you thought of the list. Let me know whether or not you agree with the list or not. I, I think this was a pretty good list in my standards, so I... I don't think I could have done anything differently. So let me know what you guys thought of it down below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out our other top 10s. And I will catch you in the next one.